823. Karen Finney is the senior advisor to communications and senior political strategist for Hillary for America, Hillary Clinton. And, of course, uh, the efforts are pointing towards New York as the primary is uh, just around the corner here. Uh, Karen Finney, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Good morning. Great to be with you. So tell me, um, uh, first of all, uh, Bernie Sanders says he's going to win New York. What do you think? <laughs> well, you know what? I think that's what you have to say when you're a candidate. It's yeah. more than what they said yesterday where they said uh, on a conference call that they uh, – didn't really try in certain states, and that's why they didn't win. I think that's pretty insulting uh, to the voters in those states. And, frankly, they did try in states like Texas and North Carolina. So glad to hear they're going to at least, you know, make an effort here in yeah. New York. Are you surprised, though, that uh, Bernie Sanders is getting I mean, it says a lot that, um, you know, maybe uh, Democrats are not completely satisfied that Bernie Sanders is having this run that nobody would expect that he would have ever had. Well, look, I think you have to also look at where his votes are coming from. I mean, look, I think there's certainly uh, some, you know, and I think Hillary, as a strong progressive, is very aware of and supportive of some of the key issues uh, that Democrats are talking about. We talk about things like job creation and increasing income. But yeah. I do think with Senator Sanders, I mean, you know, his, he's really had his success, and this is what we saw over the weekend, in states <clears throat> where that are, uh, basically, um, you, you know, have roughly three or four percent African Americans and roughly ten or so percent Latinos. They're not typically haven't tended to be very diverse states. They're states with open caucus processes. Yeah. Well, even he's calling it very white states. I mean, I've heard his people say it that yeah. way. You know, the, the think, you know the very yeah. white states. He does. He seems to do well. And I think you know, look, I think it's something. It's important that for people to think about because we know that in a general election, particularly as a Democrat, you have to be able to demonstrate the ability to put together a broad coalition of voters, north, south, east, west, African-American, Latino, women, men, you name it. Uh, Hillary has done that, and she has gotten 2.5 million more votes than Senator Sanders. So uh, I think it's, that's the other piece that's important when people think about what's at stake in the election uh, yeah. and who. They want to, uh, you know, be the nominee in the general election, given what we're facing. What's being said about, uh, you know, there's new talk about the emails, new talk about an FBI investigation. Um, uh, is any of this real? Is this just rumor, speculation out there? You know, really, the latest story is just a rehash of old news. Uh, you know, as Hillary has said from the beginning when... Um, the Justice Department announced that they were doing a review, that she would be happy to come in at any time, that she thought it was important that, and would encourage, you know, anybody that was, you know, that the FBI had asked to speak to, that people cooperate with that review. That's not new. She, you know, they have all, we've, you know, so, I mean, m most of what, what we saw over the weekend in that story was, was kind of, again, a rehashing um, of what we know. And the basic facts haven't changed. Yeah. You know, Hillary did... You know, she w it was allowed for her to use her private email. We've now seen that folks like Colin Powell did the same, and uh, Connelly the Rice uh, had an assistant who kind of did emails for her. So, you know, the further we go into this process, you know, we also now know, uh, as affirmed, it's something Hillary said from the beginning, she never sent or received uh, information that was marked classified. So the basic facts really haven't changed. All right. All right, Christine. So let's jump forward to the new, the candidate is Donald Trump and the other candidate is Hillary Clinton. How does the campaign change? <laughs> well, if, uh, this if is kind of uncharted territory, I'm afraid, on this one. Well, I, I think if you can predict what Donald Trump is going to do, you know, I would love to hear it. Yeah. Um, look, here, here's what I think is really critically important. And this is, you know, I just want to talk about New York for a moment because obviously, you know, Secretary Clinton was, I worked on her first Senate campaign in 2000. You know, she worked very hard in this state, uh, won uh, both upstate, downstate, won decisively, uh, even more decisively in, in her reelect, understands this state. The people of the state of New York know that she is someone who will do what she says she's going to do, like her idea about how do we bring in partners like eBay to community colleges in upstate New York to bring small business people together to give them the skills to make sure to help open new markets for their products. 
Right. I think in a in a general election uh, context, you're going to see the same thing from Hillary. You're going to see someone who is going to work very hard at the grassroots. Uh, we will continue to reach out to voters where they are um, and talk about the issues that that matter to them. But look, you know, Hillary was the first person to call out Donald Trump for you know what has become pretty bigoted rhetoric about Mexican Amer- Mexicans being you know rapists and yeah. murderers. And also, I think, you know, her point, she's the one first person who pointed out that this rhetoric about Muslims is not just not consistent with our values. It's dangerous. Yeah. Because if we are going to defeat ISIS, and she's the only one who has a real plan to defeat ISIS, we're going to need to build a coalition with, you know, Muslim countries. You can't do that when you attack <laughs> the, you know, the Muslim yeah. faith and said you're going to yeah. block everybody from, yeah. from the country. Do you... So, I think you're going to see that kind of serious conversation from her. Talking to Karen Finney, she is a senior advisor to communications and senior political strategist for Hillary for America. Do you, uh, Bernie Sanders is calling for a debate in New York. Uh, will she ever do that? You know, here's the thing about I find so interesting about that. You know, we've got a process by which we've been talking about adding uh, debates. We, that's how we added the Flint debate, as a matter of fact. Uh, and then we see over the weekend the the Sanders campaign you know, puts out a letter publicly calling for more debates. And we see that the story, they're floating a story about how they're doing all this polling on, you know, attack lines on Hillary Clinton. And, you know, so I guess our, our question is, you know, you said you, that's not the campaign that you were going to run. What, so when are we going to get back to that, A? And B, if we're going to have a process, we've agreed to a process around how we're going to uh, try to agree on additional debates, well, that process was working. So why now all of a sudden we're doing a stunt of releasing letters publicly and trying to, you know, create a, uh, a stunt? I mean, I've been in yeah. politics a long time. I, I understand the strategy. Um, but, you know, Bernie Sanders does not get to decide when and where we debate. We have a process uh, right. that we're asking him to participate in. So there will not be a debate? You know, I'm not saying that. And look, I okay. think if Hillary... Uh, we did a debate uh, in New York. You know, I, I think she would do very well, not just because she's done very well in all of the debates, but as I was saying before, given her record here in New York and her knowledge uh, of the state and her commitment to this state, I think she would do very well. So right. we're just sort of, our issue is more uh, with the, the tactic uh, okay. right. that, that's being utilized. Right. And, uh, and, and finally, the campaign. Here we are in New York. And we mean something, both the Republican and Democrat primary. Um, both yeah. of these primaries are, uh, are races. I mean, do you at least acknowledge that this is uh, there? a lot of work has to be done here in New York and you got to focus on New York? This race with Bernie Sanders is going to be a, a somewhat of a battle, it could be. Well, we're absolutely, you know, we are going to pull out all the stops here in, in New York and we're going to fight hard. Uh, no question about that. Um, I have to tell you, as somebody who I was actually born in New York, um, and as somebody who worked on the um, at the DNC when we expanded the the map, I think it's a great thing. I think it's great for uh, the Democratic Party to have people, you know, be more engaged and excited. One of the things, though, we've seen in New York is that a lot of folks have actually already been pretty involved. They've gotten on buses and you know gone down to South Carolina or out to Iowa to yeah. can't do some canvassing. So I think here in New York State, you know, people are pretty engaged. Um, but, yeah, the campaign is going to, you will see, ramping up uh, in full force. Uh, we are going to work very hard here in New York. All right. Listen, the Bernie Sanders people have told us that Bernie will be coming on the air here. Um, will Hillary, do you think Hillary will do an interview with us on the radio? I'll tell you what, I will, I, will, uh, I will do my best to make that happen. How about right. that? I appreciate that, Karen. We uh, appreciate your time this morning and wish you the best. Kind of excited about the fact that this, all this attention is coming to New York here. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. I think it's a great thing, and so we're looking forward to it. All right. Uh, Karen Finney, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day. Uh, quick break. Uh, Christine does news next on WMBX.